this must be... It's a festival promotion! Hey, speaking of, we haven't been anywhere fun since we arrived in Inazuma! N no what made you think that? <clears throat> Festivals are a common occurrence here in Inazuma. We in the Yashiro Commission are very well acquainted with these sorts of customs. Each season brings its own festival, and each festival in turn brings a fresh challenge to the task of maintaining public order. So, while festivals are undoubtedly joyous and lively occasions, for us, they are also a cause for concern. Oh, my apologies. I should stop thinking about work. This is hardly relevant to the matter at hand. This store here is the place I wanted to visit. Oh, so you weren't checking out the promotion? Well, let's take a look inside then. Welcome! I have all the latest styles. Please take a look. Oh! It's Miss Kamisato! With guests from overseas! Welcome to Ogura Textiles and Kimonos. Are you here to purchase fabric or for tailored garments? Oh! Greetings to you too! I have a design here for a garment. Would you be so kind as to take a look? Oh! Ayaka came prepared! Let me see... Hmm... Hmm... This could be... Mm-hmm... It could be... Oh, it's a very fine design! Miss Kamisato, you'd like us to make a kimono following this design, yes? Please, if you could. I'm honored that you'd choose Ogura textiles and kimonos for your tailoring needs. However, there is one rather difficult problem. Based on the design, this kind of kimono would require silk made from the silk flower. The majority of Inazuma's silk is imported from Liyue Harbor, but given the current climate... As you well know, Inazuma is currently under a strict lockdown. In all honesty, the impact on the textiles industry has been quite significant. We're struggling to import high-grade fabrics. So much of our tailoring business has been put on hold indefinitely. But of course, where our customers are able to provide the fabric themselves, we can still be of service. So you're saying we need to go and buy some silk first? If even Ogura textiles and kimonos can't get a hold of high-grade fabric, where would we buy it from? You could try the International Trade Association. They are a little better connected than we are. After all, the association brings together merchants from all over the world. The only thing is their prices. They're not the cheapest. In times like these, though, we're lucky to even have an option of getting a hold of the things we want in the first place. Huh. So even just getting clothes made is an ordeal in Inazuma. Wait, the International Trade Association? That's Kurisu's thing, right? We haven't been to Rito in a while. Hmm. It looks like that will be our next stop. Thank you ever so much. We will be back once we've acquired the fabric. Oh, in the meantime, I have one other very small request. Could you? Why is she being so secretive all of a sudden? Mm-hmm, absolutely. Much obliged. My pleasure, Miss Kamisato. Honestly, I'm just as excited as you to see the end product. We haven't made a silk kimono for the longest time now, and this is a beautiful design. Hmm. That's very kind of you, thank you. Goodbye for now. Traveler Paimon, let's try our luck at the International Trade Association. This is it, the International Trade Association. Okay then, we need to talk to Karisu, right? Huh, doesn't look like he's here. Let's look around. <sighs> look, look, there he is! Ah, <sighs> looks like we found him. Um, 
What am I gonna do? Mr. Kurisu, are you alright? Oh, you're Miss Sayaka from the Kamisato clan. How do you do? Better than you, it appears. Uh, and if it isn't the Traveler, I haven't seen you in a while. I take it you've been out of Rito? Thanks again for your help last time. The association is back in business, and it's all thanks to you. That's great, but, uh, why were you staring into space just now? Did something bad happen? Well, you see... <sighs> it's embarrassing to admit, but some of the association's goods have been stolen by vagrants. Which goods were stolen? It was a batch of high-grade silk. We imported a big batch of silk from Liyue several years ago. It's been sitting in storage ever since. Recently, we heard that clothing stores in the city have more or less sold all their silk stocks. So we figured now would be a good time to bring our batch out of storage, thinking it'd probably fetch a good price. <sighs> but then... Ugh, the vagrants swiped the whole batch, then disappeared into the woods. I'd report it to the authorities, but... <sighs> well, as you know, they don't think much of foreign merchants like us. The Kanjo Commission don't want to give us the time of day. <sighs> Honestly, you can just tell that our suffering amuses them. Well, I also take issue with aspects of the Kanjo Commission's operational methods. Please remember, Mr. Kurisu, that while you are here in Inazuma, you should be careful with your words. Uh, oh, my apologies. I had to let off some steam. Anyway, there doesn't seem to be much we can do ourselves to get our goods back. <sighs> Perhaps I'm doomed to go bankrupt after all. I am afraid I can't intervene in an official capacity, but I can still help you get your lost goods back. Of course, I would never... Wait, what? Huh? Yes. Acting in my own capacity, mind you. Even then, there is no escaping the fact that my every action and word will be seen to reflect on the Yashiro Commission and the Kamisato clan. I do so not without reservation, so... I hope that you will treat this matter as confidential. That aside, as I'm sure you're aware, I'm afraid that I won't always be able to help you in such circumstances. Given your position and that of the International Trade Association, Please try to exercise more caution in the future. You do not want to incur further unnecessary losses. We will. We certainly will. But, um... Are you sure this isn't gonna cause any issues... for you? What if someone high up in the Kanjo Commission sees what you're doing and doesn't like it? You're a highly respected member of society. Surely putting your neck on the line for small-timers like me can't be worth the risk. <laughs> Very humorous. Let's not forget that I am the eldest daughter of the Kamisato clan. I would be very surprised indeed if anybody in the Kanjo Commission felt that I was accountable to them for my actions. Whoa, that sent shivers down Paimon's spine! Does everyone from a powerful clan talk like that? Mr. Kurisu, I need to know the exact time and location of the theft, and anything that stood out about the perpetrator's appearance. Thank you so much. Let's see, it was two hours ago now, over at the, um, uh... Everyone, please follow me to the scene of the crime. The investigation starts there. All right, off we go! the wind. This is where we were robbed. Hey! Look on the ground! What are those? 
Huh? A footprints. Very deep ones at that. Leading towards the forest. Hmm. Presumably the depth suggests that they were carrying something heavy. Let's see where they lead. Think you can get your stuff back with this bunch? You must be dreaming. <sighs> Why you? You better hope you have the courage of your convictions. Why wouldn't I, old man? Answer me this. You're one of those outlander merchants, right? You trade association types are worms. Coming over to our land, leeching off our people. Who's gonna leap to your defense, huh? Tell me, who's gonna stick their neck out for the likes of you? <laughs> Look at that. No response. You know I'm right. Face it. This is Inazuma. You've got no ties here. You're at the bottom of the pile. Can you really blame us for walking all over you? You are despicable. Hey! I just had an idea. Since you came all this way, how about we do some business? Business? Pay up. And you can take your fabric back. Sound good? If you ask me, it beats walking out of here with black eyes and a broken nose. <gasps> You're just a big bully! I... Uh, what choice do I have? Wait! Mr. Kurisu, please do not pay any money to this man. But... but... I trust you remember our agreement? If you keep your lips firmly sealed, I too shall uphold my end of the deal. Oh, yes, of course! Then please stand well back where it is safe. Now, it is time for me to honor my word! It's my lucky day! Whirling snow! Let's get down to business! Yeah! Take flight! <gasps> To the fairy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, to the fairy. Uh, <laughs> it's another day. That tingle. Good. That ice my hand. That tingle. Sakura swirl. Yeah. Uh, the wrong tap. My apologies. To the fairy. Well, that's resolved then. <sighs> no, please, I... It was nothing. I was simply doing my duty. Miss Kamisato, Traveler, are, are you hurt? Don't worry, we're fine. The vagrants left in quite a hurry. It would seem they didn't have time to take anything with them. I believe your stolen goods should all be here. Thank you. Thank you so much. You'd best do a count. Six, eight, ten. Yep, it's all here. Great! Now we can finally buy some silk. Buy silk? You mean you need some of the silk here? This was indeed our intent. Don't get us wrong, though. That's not the reason we helped you out. Even if it were just a few carrots or cabbages, chances are we still would have helped you get them back. Paimon thinks we're pretty lucky. If we arrived any later, our chances of getting Silk and Inazuma would have been zero. I honestly can't thank you all enough. Please, say no more. You need Silk? I'll pick out a piece for you right away. Thank you, good sir. How much do I owe you? Oh, it's free of charge. I could never ask you to pay after everything you've done for me. No, no, that will never do. Things cost what they cost, and what they cost is what I shall pay. Merchants already have enough challenges to deal with, and as Paimon explained, my help was unconditional. Please, sell your wares to me at the price you would sell them to any other customer. There is nothing to feel distressed about, because nothing, 
I repeat, nothing happened here in these woods today. Did it? Thank you. I... I don't think I could ever repay you. You have helped me greatly, and I will never forget it. I'm... Uh, I'm afraid we must part ways. I must get these goods back to the Association. If you ever need anything at all, just come to the International Trade Association and ask for Kurisu. Very well. And thank you for the silk, Mr. Kurisu. See you then! Bye! Safe journey home! Don't go getting robbed again! Traveler, thank you for stepping in to help out. But how come those vagrants didn't seem to know who you were? They must move in completely different circles. Maybe they've never seen anyone from the Kamisato clan before. Perhaps. Either way, I'm glad they didn't recognize me. The fewer people who know what happened today, the better. <laughs> it's not every day an important person like you helps out someone like Kurisu. It really shows what a great person you are. Oh, uh, your praise is quite unwarranted. I merely did what anyone in my position would have done. I admit that it did feel strange for me to come to his aid. But this should have nothing to do with identity or social class. As far as I'm concerned, it was one individual helping another in need. I guess that deep down, I don't see how a society can be considered just when people encounter such obstacles in their livelihoods. Uh, sorry, I'm getting off topic. Right. Let's head back to Ogura Textiles and Kimonos and give our hard-won silk to the shopkeeper. Okay! luck at the International Trade Association? Did they have any silk in stock? Yes, they did. Here. Excellent news! So, apart from the silk, I think everything else I need I've got in store already. Um, uh, I just need to go and take stock of our materials. It won't take me a moment. I'll be right back. They better all be there! I do hope nothing else is missing. Traveler, on the subject of garments, I've been meaning to acquire a new outfit for you, too. It's just... I wasn't sure how you'd feel about the idea of dressing in Inazuman attire. Oh? Are you sure? Is that so? Impressive. So travelers of your stature hold themselves to a dress code, as well as a code of conduct. From home, you've got to live by certain rules to survive, whether you like it or not. But Paima would still love to check out some Inazuman outfits. Just what is that supposed to mean? They make them in whatever size the customer asks for. <laughs> oh, your interactions are so adorable to watch. <clears throat> I mean, um, I can certainly find someone to tailor a Paimon size outfit if Paimon so wishes. Well, if you're sure, as you wish. Something else I've been wondering is, how do people in other nations dress? It's so true. People dress in all kinds of ways. Some people like to wear a hood, some cover up half their face with a mask, some just straight up dress like a peacock. Oh, and some have their tummy on show. Others wear skin-tight leotards and leggings. If you can imagine it, Paimon guarantees that someone out there is wearing it. Really? So there is no single standard and people just dress however they like? So fascinating. Somehow, I feel a little envious. Wait, so you want to dress like a peacock now? No, of course not. I just mean, I admire those who are able to do as they please. I would very much like to travel across the Seven Nations and see how people live. 
Sorry to keep you waiting. I've checked my inventory. Thank you. Is there anything else you're missing? Fortunately not. I have all the materials I need. As for the size, would you like me to go by the dimensions given on the design? Yes, please. Understood. I'll get to work shortly. In total, that'll be... this much. Here you go. Is it possible to treat this as an urgent order? Well, luckily, we don't have any other urgents at the moment, so I can begin work right away. It will still take me some time, though, so please come and collect it later. Until then, I'm sure you'll find somewhere nearby to pass the time. Good idea! Let's check out the whole area! We don't want to leave any loose ends! <laughs> there will be no loose ends while you're in my company. I already decided where to go while we wait. For our next stop, I'd like to take you both for a meal. Food? Oh, Paima likes this plan. Mm hmm I picked the venue especially for you. A humble local eatery called Kiminami Restaurant. I thought that the relaxed atmosphere there would suit our day much better than the prohibitively formal one of a high-end restaurant. Shall we head off? Yep, yep! here? Ooh, it's one of those street side places. Looks cute and cozy. Welcome. Oh, Miss Kiminami, how do you do? Ah, oh, Miss Kamisato. Perfect timing. Your booking was for... well, right now. I believe so. We'll be sticking to the order I placed in advance. As for the other matter we discussed, thank you for your help. Excellent! No problem. And everything you asked for is ready and waiting. Traveler, tiny customer, please wait here for a moment while I prepare your food. Go ahead and take a seat. There is something I need to take care of, but I'll be back momentarily. <clears throat> it's nothing of that sort. I just have a few minor things I need to attend to. I won't be long. You're left in a hurry. Whatever it is, it must be pretty urgent. So you two are Miss Kamisato's friends? <laughs> well, we serve all the classics. Sure, there are fancier looking places out there, but the food here speaks for itself. Hope you enjoy it. Over the years we've been in business, we've gotten to know the Kamisato clan quite well. Miss Kamisato and her brother are both fond of our food. They're always sending staff down here to order something and take it back to them. Her table booking surprised me. Not least because it was a group reservation. This is the first time I've ever heard of Miss Kamisato going out for dinner with friends. The first time ever? Oh, guess that makes us pretty important people, huh? Sure does. And I'm probably crossing the line here, but I'm just telling you what others have told me. Apparently, Miss Kamisato doesn't have a lot of friends. How is that possible? She's so kind and polite to everyone. Paimon would have thought that would make her really popular. That's what I used to think, too. But it turns out the rules of social interaction are a bit more complicated than that. Nobody in the neighborhood has a bad word to say about her. They all say she's beautiful, elegant, graceful. Not to mention that she belongs to one of the most illustrious clans in the land. In short, they see her as a model young lady. But that's just it. People look at her and they see a model of perfection and they don't feel like that's something they can relate to. So the majority of kids from our ordinary families don't even try to talk to her. So you see, on paper, she sounds like a girl everyone would want to get to know. But in practice, she finds it difficult to make friends. Huh. Paimon never would have guessed. 
We don't speak all that much, but we do go quite a way back. I've always admired her for taking on so many responsibilities at such a young age. So it makes me really happy to see her here with friends today. Anyway, relax, enjoy your meal, and please talk to her as much as possible. I know she'll appreciate it. Consider it a favor for the whole neighborhood. Look after her for us. Ah! Huh? That sounded like Ayaka! <sighs> I'm so sorry, Traveler. Could you join me over there for a minute? Um, I need your help with something. I'm sorry. I didn't want to drag you away all of a sudden. I, um... Just had a cooking catastrophe. Oh, so that loud noise we heard came from the cooking pot. As you can see, this house is right next to the restaurant. It's where the owner lives. Actually, this whole compound is the family's private property. I asked Miss Kiminami to prepare some ingredients and utensils for me so that I could cook a special dish here. Right. If there's something you want to eat, you could just order it from the menu. Actually, I wanted to cook something as a gift for Tsubaki. My mother mentioned in her notebook that Tsubaki enjoys food from all over the world. So I thought, if I'm going to meet Tsubaki, perhaps a dish from overseas would make a fitting gift. A dish from overseas? So anything from outside Inazuma counts, right? If so, then we've got lots of options, don't we? That's what I was thinking. You must have picked up a lot of knowledge about different cultures on your travels. Hopefully including regional cuisines. Can I leave you to finish this task then? Just as a personal favor. Is that okay? I'll be indebted to you. Great. But... What kind of overseas dish would make a suitable gift? It needs to survive a journey from the kitchen to the recipient's doorstep. Oh, Paimon knows! There's one dish out there that was practically created for this purpose! Pizza! Pizza? It's an assortment of toppings and sauce spread over a bread base and cooked in the oven. And it's so good! That does sound pretty good.
pizza ready? Oh, it's ready. It smells delicious. You're an excellent cook, Traveler. <sighs> I would love to be able to master dishes from all over the world. Well, all you need to learn is a recipe. We can bring you some more recipes in the future if you like. Great. I look forward to learning from your culinary expertise. How are you all doing? Whoa, is this... Miss Kamisato, this must be the dish you were talking about. Yes, an overseas dish cooked by the Traveler. Could I trouble you to package it for me? Sure, no problem. Oh, it smells good. I bet it tastes amazing. Oh, now I really want to put something like this on our menu. <laughs> want us to teach you how to make it? Oh, could you? The most satisfying meals are the ones you share with other people. So Paimon thinks that our friends in Mondstadt wouldn't mind us sharing this dish with Inazuma. Really? That's great. I've always wanted to learn how to cook some international dishes. If you can write down a recipe for me, I'll add it to our menu and put a promotion where everyone will see it. Since we've become a closed nation, people haven't had the chance to try anything new. Traveler, you're the best! I'll go pack up this dish for Miss Kamisato. Please, make your way back to the restaurant whenever you're ready. The food will be waiting for you. You could have sold that recipe for a high price, but you selflessly gave it away for free. You're a wonderful person. I mean it. I admire you a lot. And I'm so proud to be friends with someone of such fine character. Well, you should probably write down the recipe now, no? Yeah, let's make sure we include all the details and then give it to Miss Kiminami. So, pizza. Start with the basic ingredients. Correct, Mundo. Right, now to add the next couple of ingredients. Mmm, yep. That's right! Now for the cooking instructions. Place onto oven rack at high heat and cook until golden brown. All right, it's done! Long may our reputations and our recipes precede us wherever we go in Inazuma. I have no doubt that they will. This dish is exquisite. Cool! Then let's get this recipe to Miss Kiminami pronto! Have you written out the recipe? Here it is. Thank you! Chloe, this is so exciting. I want to make it right away. Traveler, Paimon, please accept my sincerest apologies for delaying your meal. <laughs> no problem! Food always tastes better when you've worked up an appetite. All right, let's dig in before it gets cold. Well, what do you think? Is Inazuman cuisine to your liking? It's amazing! Paimon loved this one! Oh, and especially that one over there! <laughs> Good. I'm relieved. Um, when I was attempting to cook earlier on, did you chat with the owner at all? And did she, uh, say anything about me? She did, but don't worry. She's just happy for you as all. She's... Happy for me? Oh, then she must have told you. Did she... um... What does it matter? I know just as well as anybody else that I've got no friends. Hey, it's not you. Most people just haven't had the chance to talk to you one-on-one -on -one before. Thank you for your comforting words, Paimon. It's all true, though. I just don't have very many friends. Most of the time I'm either accompanied by family or staff, so everyone must have found it quite a surprise to see me taking you out for a meal. Exactly! 
Wiggly, you've got at least two friends right here. Aw, thank you. That makes me so happy. Ahem, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm forgetting myself. Hey, now. Expressing your feelings is the right thing to do. Keeping them locked away inside isn't gonna do you any good now, is it? I agree. So, I just want to say how happy I feel that you both see me as a true friend. Of course we do. That's always been our style. If someone's nice to us, we're nice to them too. Friendship can go a long way. Take your mom, for example. She wrote about Tsubaki in her notebook, and now it's made you want to find them too. Yes. I think friendship is an extremely precious thing. And ours is one that I will always treasure. Um, while we're on the topic, though, who is this Tsubaki person anyway? Well, I think I have an idea, but it's just speculative at this point. I think that Tsubaki might be a fox envoy. A fox envoy? Yes, that's what I think. Even I, my mother's own daughter, had never even heard of this friend before. It just seems so... mysterious. So I think it must be someone with transcendent abilities who doesn't show themselves very often. And fox envoys are nothing new. Stories have been told about them in Inazuma since ancient times. You must have met Kuji Yae before. Well, she's a fox envoy. That got me thinking. Maybe there are fox envoys out there in Inazuma that people just don't know about. And maybe Tsubaki is one of them. Whoa! So Inazuma also has supernatural beings? Uh, when you say also... Well, before Inazuma, we spent some time in Liyue. They have lots of supernatural beings there, like the Adepti. All kinds of them, too. Up in the sky, down below the ground, in the water. Really? I've come across such things being asserted in books. But to hear someone talk about it from first-hand experience is extremely surprising. So Liyue lives up to its reputation. Its culture has a long history and gives rise to the most beautiful legends. Quite captivating. You should come visit Liyue with us sometime. The best part is, they have loads and loads of delicious delicacies. Really? I would love that. Speaking of delicacies... Traveler, Paimon, have you eaten your fill? Oh, Paimon has. Excellent. Then let's collect the kimono. Then we can pay a visit to my mother's mysterious and transcendent friend. Your garment is ready, Miss Kamisato. I've folded and packaged it for you. Oh, and the other item we discussed? That's ready, too. Thank you very much. No, thank you. It is a beautiful piece of clothing, and it was a pleasure to work on. See you again next time. Traveler, I have a gift for you. Whoa, looks super fancy. Is that for wearing in your hair? It's a hairpin in the style of a white heron. As well as a hair accessory, you can also use it as an ornament. I couldn't ask for your help and offer nothing at all in return. So this is my gift to you. I'm glad you like it. Speaking of white herons, that's what your title means, doesn't it? Shirasagi Himegimi. So this gift is like a little piece of yourself. It's just as elegant and beautiful as you are. <laughs> you flatter me, Paimon. If this gift reminds you of me, that is all I could ask for. <laughs> it definitely will. All right, well, now we've got what we 
we came for, we can set off. Time to go meet Subaki. <laughs>
The only rule that holds true in this world is survival. A reward on the road. Transcendent being lives here? Ugh. If someone lives here, then why is it so chilly? Hmm. I'm asking myself the same question. How strange. I'm quite sure that this is the location my mother wrote about, but surely. Hmm. I'm starting to have second thoughts. But since we're here, I still think we should go inside and explore in full. Yeah, makes sense. Who knows? Maybe there's a surprise waiting in there for us. So, um, what does the notebook say exactly? Let me think. A crane brings one fresh flower in its beak to decorate my hair, while a white rabbit sews a hemline from four rays of moonlight. Dressed appropriately, I face eastward and call out Tsubaki's name seven times. In the blink of an eye, I'm standing on the path that leads to her house. Sounds like a fairy tale. So your mom would do a little ritual, and just like that, Tsubaki would come to meet her? I have a feeling that it could be some sort of code. 
Let's get a little closer before coming to any conclusions. Good idea! Bushes on the rocks in here. Could that be anything? Let's recap what the notebook says. Maybe it'll give us a hint. A crane brings one fresh flower in its beak to decorate my hair, while a white rabbit sews a hemline from four rays of moonlight. Dressed appropriately, I face eastward and call out Tsubaki's name seven times. In the blink of an eye... Another notebook. Could it be Tsubaki's notebook? Let's step back outside now. The atmosphere here is different than I'd imagined. Somehow, it makes me a little reluctant to open the notebook. Hyman knows what you mean. Reading in low light is really bad for your eyes. <sighs> Come on, let's get back outside. <laughs> Here will do just fine. Alright, let's see what the notebook says. 
Oh, ooh, Paimon Bits, it's all about mysterious treasure! Oh, so exciting! What is it? Uh, why are you whispering all of a sudden? You're making Paimon nervous. You want to let Ayaka read the notebook without distraction. Seems whatever's written in there must be pretty major after all. But, um, based on her expression, probably not a treasure map. Hmm, what could it be? <sighs> Traveler, Paimon, sorry to keep you waiting so long. No worries. It wasn't long at all. You're a very fast reader. Yes, I have. I think I have to share the truth of this notebook with you both. Even though the contents are completely different than what I was expecting. Different how? You mean it wasn't a fox envoy who wrote this? Not a fox envoy, no. It turns out that Tsubaki's real identity is my mother herself. Huh? Surprised? Me too. But that's what it says at the very beginning of the notebook. <clears throat> Tsubaki and I are the same person, and yet we are different. When I become Tsubaki, I stop being Kami Sato Kayo and become the most ordinary woman in the world. What follows in these pages is the ordinary, everyday life of a regular person. Nothing more, nothing less. This notebook is, for the most part, a collection of my mother's musings, both private and trivial. All of the things we thought were about Tsubaki were in fact about my mother herself. So that means that the kimono design and the international dishes... ...are things that my mother wished to try, yes. I'm sure this all sounds utterly bizarre to you, but to me at least, my mother's behavior is completely understandable. Or to put it another way, I... I actually have another side to myself as well. I was at a loss for words when I started reading the contents of the notebook. It almost felt like... Like someone had looked inside my mind, examined my thoughts, and then written them all down on paper. Ayaka... From the moment my mother married my father, she became the mother of the Kamisato household, and with that came all sorts of duties. At the same time, the prestige of the Yashiro Commission brought its own share of responsibility. On top of that, every action she ever took was seen as representing the Kamisato clan. People were always watching her. Under such circumstances, she never had much time to do the things she really wanted to do. After my father passed away, Ayato and I took over responsibility for the affairs of the clan. We ran into all sorts of difficulties during that time. I'm not sure if people outside the clan could ever imagine what it was like. Every time I found myself up against a difficult issue, I'd ask myself, did my mother go through this too? What would she have done in this situation? Maybe it's because it had been so long since I last saw her, but... Somehow, all that was left of her in my mind was the sight of her that inspired awe and commanded respect. But my image of her was incorrect. When I read this notebook, I realized... She was just like me. Underneath whatever position she may have held, she was just an ordinary person. She liked pretty kimonos, she wanted to try food from different places, she yearned to see sights she'd never seen before. Maybe this all sounds immature to you, but I feel just the same way. I want to live life not as Kamisato Ayaka, but as an ordinary woman. Mother wrote that she'd always wanted to go to a local Inazuman festival. She said that sometimes, on a clear night, if you looked out from our house, you could see lights off in the distance. I've seen those lights, too. It looks so lively with so many people. And it's so brightly lit, it makes the whole sky glow. Of course, 
sometimes it does make me a bit anxious from a public order perspective. But for someone of my position to just show up at a festival with no warning, it could be considered improper etiquette. Especially in my parents' generation, when the Yashiro Commission didn't have a particularly close relationship with the populace. Even if no one stopped us, the idea of the Yashiro Commission going out into the crowd, it'd certainly draw some strange looks. People would probably start thinking there was trouble afoot. Mother said that she didn't want to put people on edge. She wanted everyone to enjoy the fun and freedom of the festival. She didn't want to disturb them, and didn't have much free time anyway, so she never went. Not even once. Ah, so the kimono design... That must have been the outfit she planned on wearing if she ever did go to a festival, right? That's right. And sometimes, festivals sell international food. She wanted to try that, too. I hope this isn't a disrespectful thing to say, but... I never knew my mother was so in touch with her inner child. <laughs> well, that's not disrespectful at all. Paimon thinks your mom was the best of both. A big softy on the inside, and a big sense of responsibility on the outside. Hmm. Without knowing it, I've ended up fulfilling several of my mother's wishes already. <sighs> but going to a festival is the one thing that I cannot do for her. Perhaps this is one thing that can simply never be. I understand. Thank you. I think I realize something now. Mother and I are so similar in so many ways. The things she faced are things that I too will go on to face. She chose to place her unfulfilled wishes onto the identity of Tsubaki. As for me, I've already decided. Oh, so you decided on an alter ego too? No, um, I don't plan to do anything like that. I think... I think I will set myself a new goal. To live each day without regrets. So, um, traveler, I... <clears throat> <sighs> Deep breaths, Ayaka. Deep breaths. <sighs> Would you be at all interested in checking out an Inazuman festival? Paimon's been dying to go ever since we saw that poster! Paimon would love to go with you, Ayaka! Hey, come on, don't make fun! It's just because I used to have the same concerns my mother did. But now, I don't think I need to worry about it so much. I'm going to be true to myself and fulfill the wish that my mother and I shared. I know that you of all people can understand me going my own way on this. So, let's do this, you and me. Let's go to a festival together. Paimon wants to come! Festivals here have loads of tasty snacks too, right? Oh, and fun and games! Great! Thanks, you guys. If we head over now, we should still make it in time. Oh, good point! Today is the last day, right? What are we waiting for? Let's go! Day. Disappear. Cool it. Ugh. Don't get frostbite. Ah. Finally, I freeze. Ah. Ah. Fortunate. 
What's the hurry? Since it's the final day, many of the visitors must have already returned home. I've heard that the peddlers often close up shop earlier on the last day, because there are fewer people around. I'll go and ask. Whatever happens, I at least need to go inside just this once. <sighs> That's the way to go! We'll be right there with you! It hasn't closed yet. It's just that there aren't many people left. Let's hurry and see as much as we can. Hey, look at that stall! They have so many masks! Paimon's heard that everyone's supposed to wear a mask at these kinds of festivals. Is that rule still around nowadays, or...? That used to be the custom, yes. And today, it's still a popular way to dress up during festivals. But it's not a hard and fast rule. Hey! Is that who I think it is? Miss Kamisato, right? Oh, uh... <clears throat> Greetings. People seem to recognize Ayaka wherever we go. Hmm. Guess that's just what it's like when you're a famous Inazuman. <laughs> but of course! The Kamisato clan leads the Yashiro Commission. It's one of the most well-known clans in Inazuma. Not least because back when Master and Miss Kamisato had just taken over the family's affairs, they used to make public appearances all the time. Some of the younger generations have never even seen Miss Kamisato in person before. Being the age I am, I'm lucky enough to have seen her on many occasions over the years. You're too kind. My brother and I simply go where we must to fulfill our duties. <laughs> but this is the first time I've seen anyone from your family at a festival. There must be some official business, I take it. Uh... Oh, there isn't, actually. Today, I'm taking my traveler friend here around to see the sights. Oh, a traveler? Huh, now that you mention it, you do look like you've come a long way to get here. First time in Inazuma? Hope you enjoy yourself, young one. Ah, excuse me, one second. Hey, everyone, listen up! Don't close up yet! Miss Kamisato has come to join the festival! N no it's not like that. Please, there's no need to make a fuss. We're just here to... Yeah, thanks a lot, mister! If you hadn't let them know, they'd start closing down about now, right? At least it sure looks like that time of day. 
<laughs> yep, you got it. But on account of this being the first time Miss Kamisato has ever come to the festival, it seems only fair to keep things open a little longer. Oh, here's a couple of masks for you. On the house. No, 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 no. You've been far too accommodating to us already. We couldn't possibly... Ah, uh, don't give me all that. Here you go. Here you go. It's not often that we regular folks get some attention from the Yashiro Commission, so I've got to mark the occasion somehow. Besides, it'll make me look bad if you refuse. <laughs> but... Okay, I think I understand. <laughs> it's my pleasure. You have yourself a good time. Uh, sir, do you have anything for Paimon? Oh, hello there, kiddo. Um, I'm sorry, but we don't have any masks in your size. Huh? Surely you're not gonna let Paimon be the only one at the festival without a mask? <laughs> Paimon, don't worry. Wearing a mask is optional. But, but... Paimon doesn't want to feel left out. How about a tree leaf? That should be enough to cover up that little face of yours. What? No way! Oh, okay then. Hmm. In that case, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do right now. But don't you worry, kiddo. I'll have a mini mask made specially for you when I get back. I cannot thank you enough. Aw, oh, it's nothing. But I won't hold you up any longer. You should go and enjoy the festival while everything's still lit up. All right. Traveler, shall we? Oh, wait. Um, just one thing. I need to explain myself. I got a little nervous back there and... I just made up any old excuse. But don't think of this as me taking you sightseeing, please. I brought you here because... because I genuinely wanted to spend time with you. Okay, great. Look, this doll's doing fortune slips. Miss Kamisato, hello there. You're out with friends today? Oh, what a rare privilege. Welcome, welcome. Would you like to give it a go? Okay. How much is it per draw? <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to know this, but the Yashiro Commission was very good to my uncle and my father's side at one point in time. Thinking about it, it was when your father was around. I think he dealt with it personally. So you see, how could I possibly take your money? What? Are you sure? Of course! If you like what you see, then please, be my guest. Same goes for your two friends here. Traveler? Paimon? What do you think? Seems like everyone wants to do something nice for Ayaka. So, if they insist, who are we to resist? Well, if that's how you feel, then okay. We'll take you up on your kind offer, sir. Let's each do a draw. Alrighty then. Whenever you're ready. Draw a slip and reveal your fortune. Open it up and see how you fare. Whoa! Which one did you get? Paimon got rising fortune. No way! We got the same one! Traveler, what did you get? Wow, you're so lucky. Ah, congratulations are in order. Here's what great fortune among people means. As the golden koi fish shines amidst the turquoise waves, your name shall be illustrious, and the wealthy and powerful will surge to your aid. In other words, your good luck isn't about to run out anytime soon. What a great sign! Good things lie ahead! Congratulations! You all have very fine fortunes lined up. With this kind of luck, you'll certainly be able to achieve anything that you wish. Well said! Here's hoping that our good luck will never run out!
This food stall sells all kinds of Inazuman specialties. Anything you want to eat, it's my treat. Wow, it all looks so good! Um, is it okay if Paimon has one of everything? <laughs> of course it is. Hmm, but we don't want anything to go to waste. Let's try them one at a time. Ooh, Ayaka, Paimon wants those dango. Sure. Uh-huh, those look good too. Ooh, but so do the egg rolls. Paimon will try an egg roll too, please. All right then. I too shall have a sakura mochi. All right, coming right up. Hmm, <sighs> this sakura mochi is just delicious. Not bad, huh? It's one of our best sellers. Oh, please, sir. Paimon would like some more. I don't know if it's rude of me to ask, but how is this kind of snack actually made? <laughs> you want to try your hand at making it yourself? No problem. Just give me a second and I'll write out the recipe for you. Ooh, a new recipe? Are you sure about this? If you share the recipe, isn't that tantamount to giving away your trade secrets or something? Well, it was you who gave Kiminami Restaurant that recipe for an overseas dish, wasn't it? <laughs> she and I are good friends. We trade culinary tips all the time. Here you go. Just treat it as me returning a favor on behalf of my friend. Thank you so much. I will study it very carefully and try my best to do it justice. You there. You want the recipe too? Go on, I can see that you enjoyed it. <sighs> There's no greater feeling than creating delicious food with your own two hands. You should definitely give it a try. I will. Once I've learned how to make it, will you two be my taste testers? Oh, definitely! Can't wait! Alright. I'll do my best. Well, we may have arrived near the end of the festival, but it's still been super fun. Paimon approves! Yes, I agree. To spend the festival together with you today has been a truly wonderful experience. This doll sells prayer plaques. It's an Inazuman tradition. You draw your wish onto a pentagonal piece of wood called a prayer plaque, and pray that it will come true. Sounds similar to the way people in Lila release lanterns during Lantern Rite. Those are used for making wishes, too. Welcome. Looking for prayer plaques? Every wish is sacred, and you've still got time to make yours before the festival ends. Looks fun! Shall we give it a try? Oh, wait, there's writing and drawing involved? Ugh, count Paimon out then. Paimon's head's feeling kind of fuzzy after eating so much just now. Not the best time for an intense burst of mental activity. Two prayer plaques, please, sir. Two prayer plaques for the young lady. There you go. Traveler, have you decided on your wish? Yes. You can either draw a picture to represent your wish or write it out in words. Either way, once you've committed your wish onto your plaque, please hang it onto the prayer rack. Wait, so they'll be on public display? Hmm, all right, well, let's see what you got. That will do for mine. May I see yours? This is you and your sister, isn't it? It's lovely. You'll be back together one day. Paimon believes it, and you should too. I believe it too. Your wish will surely come true. And I will keep you in my prayers. Ayaka, what did you draw? Is that Tenchukaku? That's right. I wish for peace and happiness for everyone in Inazuma, and good health for my family and friends. <sighs> I do hope that wish could come true. Thank you. That gives me hope. <sighs> I think that might be all we have time for today. Aww, it's time to leave already? I'm afraid so. The festival is coming to a close. Time flies when you're having fun. It seems to flow away from you like a rushing river. 
as precious and short-lived as a cherry blossom dancing in the wind. <sighs> it's time to leave. Traveler, today was the first time in my life that I've ever been to a festival. You've known me for some time now. I think you understand my personality, don't you? Knowing me, I just know that today could not have been such a happy day without you. So thank you. Today really meant a lot to me. And the memories will always have a special place in my heart. Festivals are great. There aren't many rules. Everyone has that smile that comes from deep inside. And it's just so carefree and happy. If I ever get the chance, <laughs> I want to go again. You too? Great! You know, we're kind of similar. Me with my brother, you with your sister. Sometimes, I feel like I can relate to the determination you must have to get your sister back. Hmm. I understand. Family bonds are inseparable. No one can break them. They are the most important roots we have in this world. You will find her. Come what may, you must never give up. I will always be here for you as your... <clears throat> as your friend. I will always support you. <laughs> as long as you're happy, I'm happy. Traveler, huh? there's something that I'd like to do, if you could spare me yet huh? another moment. <sighs> Please, keep your eyes on me. What do you think of my dance? Did you... like it? It was so pretty! Beautiful, elegant, and... and something else Paimon can't put into words. Hmm... Paimon doesn't really know what it was, but it is art! <sighs> I'm not very good at this kind of dance. So, as long as I didn't embarrass myself, that's all that matters. I just had a sudden urge, and I ran with it. <laughs> In a way, that sort of sums up today for me. Dancing like nobody's watching. <laughs> that goes for you, too. When I'm with you, time seems to slow down and speed up at the same time. Anyway, it looks like this is goodbye for today. I can see myself the rest of the way back. Good night, Traveler. Huh? 
Mm-hmm. <sighs> <sighs> 